What's going on everybody? As we look forward to the NBA Finals this year, 2016, we're gonna take a look at the top three players that are going to be in the NBA Finals, in my opinion, which are LeBron, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson. Now, let's first start with the King. This is going to be his sixth straight NBA Finals appearance, okay? That is huge. The second player to play in at least three NBA Finals with two different teams, joining Dennis Rodman. Both great players. Dennis Rodman's a little sick in the head. He thinks he's a woman, things like that. That's his business. Whatever he chooses to do, God bless him. Um, but this is elite company because it shows that you contribute to where you go. Let's take a look at the chance to clinch on the road. People say, oh, LeBron doesn't win. He doesn't win. He doesn't, you know, they hate on him. Oh, this and that. Look at the numbers. Okay, he's a pass first guy. He's not Michael Jordan. He's his own person. When is everybody going to get over that? He's not Michael Jordan. He's a different player, okay? He's an assist first guy, score second guy. This man has done so much for the game of basketball and he's not appreciated enough because everybody compares him to somebody that at that time and place, Michael Jordan was the greatest thing to ever step on the court. People don't understand that. He transcended the sport, the world, everywhere. Jordan was everything. LeBron James, very, very strong guy. I don't know if you guys remember this. You know, the, the Rosen was trying to, you know, hold him down, whatever the hell he was doing. And he's still, bro, the dude, he's very, very strong. He's very, very athletic. And because he's that strong and athletic, it's a gift and a curse because we expect so much from him. But he already does an enormous amount. That's what I don't seem to understand. Most 20 plus point NBA playoffs, triple doubles in NBA playoffs history. Look at where this man is. Do you know what greatness is? Oscar Robinson, Magic Johnson, like do you, this is greatness. This this man is great, regardless of his finals record and all that kind of stuff like that. What has he done for the game of basketball? Look at that. Before you hated this guy, all-time scoring leaders. Look at where he's at on the list, bro. Number four. Like, do you understand what is it? Uh, Kobe, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and MJ are the only ones above him. That's great company. Do people not understand how great this man is? Now, let's take a look at Klay Thompson because he recently just did this. This He could have been eliminated. Guys, remember, they were down 3-1. It was his huge game that saved Golden State. It wasn't Steph Curry. Klay Thompson, in my opinion, doesn't get enough credit for his greatness. He started off game seven very, very cold, but went off and went crazy. But this is for, um, what I think this was for the game six or something like that. Um, but... It was game six or seven, but people don't really understand. As you look at Westbrook right there, that was laughing about a lot of things when they were up 3-1, everything was a joke, people were going crazy, now he's at home chilling. Klay Thompson has done a lot for the Golden State Warriors. I don't think he gets enough credit, but I think people understand that Steph Curry is that thing right now. He's that electrifying player. But look at these records that Klay Thompson is setting. 11 made, bro, are you serious right now? Like this dude is just shooting threes. Like people used to think of Reggie Miller, um, there was other guys that made a lot of threes, but the, the one that comes to mind, you know, Ray Allen, Reggie Miller, but I really loved the way Ray, Ray, uh, Reggie Miller, just whatever he did to the Knicks, that shit was hilarious. I still laugh to this day with the seven points in however many seconds. But remember, Klay Thompson was the first person to score uh, however many threes, and then, you know, Stephen Curry ended, uh, well, Stephen Curry, Steph Curry, he ended uh, his streak by um, taking care of the OKC Thunder in the last minute to go up by 10 with, like, however many seconds left where we knew OKC was finished. Um, they pretty much choked. They suck. All right, but let's go ahead and check on Stephen Curry, bro. In three games, okay, he set a record for points to overcome a 3-1 deficit. This is why Steph Curry is a difference maker. We're going to take a look at something really, really quickly because a lot of people talk about his defense. I'm going to show you some stats real quick about that. But let's just understand something. This man is shooting over centers. He's going behind the back on centers. Yo, Ibaka, a.k.a. Ibaka, one of the best defenders in the league, draining it in his mouth. You cannot defend this guy beyond the arc. He is the next, listen, he's going to be the next star player. In my opinion, LeBron is still the greatest player in the, in the world, but he's next. Let's look at his uh, defensive rating, okay? It's not too bad being considered with everything else that's going on. He's up there. You're looking at the ratings, bro. This guy, he's always been a decent defensive player, but they don't always put him on the best offensive player. But whoever he's guarding, he pretty much locks up. In this series, he's probably going to be on J.R. Smith because he's just a spot-up shooter. He don't know how to dribble or something. J.R. Smith disgusts me most times because he needs to start driving the ball to the basket. 
but he could care less about what other people think of him. He knows what he does for his team. You're looking at a guy that's going to be the face of the NBA for many years to come. Who's your NBA Finals MVP? Let me know. One love.